Hello, welcome back to my channel Cine's Primary Math. In this video, we are going to learn about the various types of symmetry. Those who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get my future videos. Also, watch my previous video on symmetry. The link is given in the description box below. The word symmetry is a Latin derivative from the Greek words for together and measure. Symmetry is the underlying mathematical principle behind all patterns and is important in art, biology, chemistry and physics etc. Symmetry can be viewed when you flip, rotate or slide a shape. The four main types of symmetries are reflection symmetry, rotational symmetry, translation symmetry and glide reflection symmetry. These four types of symmetries are examples of different types of symmetry on a flat surface called planar symmetry. Reflection symmetry In reflection symmetry, one half of an object or shape reflects the other half. The best example in general, human faces are identical on the left and right sides. Reflection symmetry is also called mirror symmetry or line symmetry. A reflection flips all the points in the plane over a line. An imaginary line along which the shape can be divided to obtain the equal halves is called the line of symmetry, mirror line or an axis of symmetry. Rotational symmetry Rotational symmetry occurs when a shape or pattern looks exactly the same after being rotated by some degree about a point. Every rotation or turn has a center and an angle. We count rotational symmetry by the number of turns it takes for a shape to look the same in a full turn. This is called the order of rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is also known as radial symmetry. Translation symmetry In translational symmetry, a shape or image is moved from one position to another a specific distance in a specific direction with the same orientation. In simple language, a translation of an object is a slide from one position to another. In other words, moving a copy of a shape or pattern in a specified direction and in a specified length about an axis. Glide reflection symmetry Glide reflection symmetry is much like translational symmetry. It is the combination of reflection and translation symmetry. It involves both processes, reflection over a line and then translation along the line, both combined into a single operation. If we change the combination's order, it will not alter the output of the glide reflection. In this, the axis of reflection must be parallel to the direction of translation. The footprints trail on B sun are a classic example of a glide reflection. Right and left footprints are images of each other under the combined effects of a reflection and a translation. Hope you are now familiar with the four main types of symmetry. I know you are interested to learn more about symmetries to make your concepts clear. Sure, I will be back with another interesting video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video. See you in the next time. Till then, bye.